Hey everybody, Greg with the Pix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is a setup video on the Dingley Pool Reel and the Blue Wave Pool Mat or Cover. There's a link in the description where you can find these items. Be sure and check that out. Also like and subscribe to the channel. Give me a big thumbs up as well. That really goes a long ways. Now let's get to the video. Let's check it out. Okay, tools required for this project are going to be a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a crescent wrench, a tape measure, a rubber mallet, and probably a power drill or a power screwdriver. Got all the parts laid out. Time to get out the instructions. So we're going to see if they uh, are as easy to follow as they look. So step one, install aluminum tube. Install the bracket separately. So it shows you putting the aluminum tubes together. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. So on the end, on each end of tube A, you slide in these pieces. These screws have the flat head so they'll sit down all the way. So one thing important to note you guys, when the instructions refer to tube A, they're actually talking about the inside tube here. And that's where your actual handle for the roll up goes, is inside tube A, which is right here. Tube A, tube B. So you put one handle on each end of your roller. So this is tube A. It's getting hot, time for a hat. Okay, there's our handle for the end. Got the handle on the other end right here. Time to put this thing together. Okay, so the next step we're going to need a tape measure for because it's saying basically 2B, you want to open it up 300 millimeters, which basically translates to 11.8 inches, so like a minimum of almost a foot. Okay, so I've finally gotten it together. So I'm going to use the flat screws just to temporarily hold it together. And then once we have it at the correct length, then we'll go ahead and use these self-tapping screws to hold it permanently together. All right, so next up is putting the legs together. So I'll go ahead and get those assembled for us. Thread your bolts through. Be sure and get your PVC back on there. You'll want to thread that through first. Okay, 
tighten up your bolts. Here's where your crescent wrench comes in handy. I want to put that on the back of your nuts here. Tighten these guys down a little bit. So they don't come loose on you at some point. Nice and snug. We'll put your caps on. Just like that, you got your leg. Rinse on your feet for your other leg. Put your sleeve on first. Line up your bolt. Thread your nuts on. PVC caps on. Press the wrench time again. And just snug them up. Don't crack the plastic. Should be good. Next step is all about wheels. We can get our wheels on the legs. And get our little steering wheel on there so we can crank it up. Let's go do that. Okay, this guy goes on the top here. Adjuster. Next, so we can put our wheels on here. You want your spokes outwards. You got little caps that hold them on. I need like a little rubber mallet or something to tap these on. Or just your hand. Tap those on. There you go. Next up we got our steering wheel, our actual reel I should say. It says we can attach the reel, so let's go ahead and do that. We go ahead and set it up first. Let's slide that into place, grab the reel. It's going to hold right here. You want to line that up right there. To get that lined up, we'll grab the bolt, put it through there, and put the handle on. Special bolt just for this. Snug it down, washer for the handle. This little part right here, keep the handle on. That's where you need your rubber mallet again. There it is. Now 
Okay, let's go set up the other end and uh, get this thing finished. Okay, so we've got a huge washer, another handle, and a small bolt. I'm just taking out all the flathead screws and then I'm going to use the self tapping screws and just put, try to pull up the slack. Okay, so that should be adjusted about right to give it the maximum amount of support. So when I put the self tapping screws in there, that should pull it up just a little bit and support the weight of the pull cover. At this point, you can use a power drill, dial it down a little bit so you don't strip out your holes there. One thing to watch out for, you'll get a few aluminum shavings around your pool, so you want to vacuum those up before you let people go swimming. At this point, we can put the clips on the reel and attach those to the solar heating mount. So they literally slide right into the reel, just like that. That's what holds them secure. You just want to try to space these sort of evenly or, you know, thereabouts. Once you get them spaced pretty evenly, you just pull the strap through. Put it through the clip, clip it onto your mat, you pull the strap back over. Seems simple enough. Let's try it out. A bunch of buckles on here, you'll want to run those up the straps and use that to secure everything. So next up, you probably want to make sure they're all the same length before you attach them to your solar heating blanket. Tape measure will come in handy. These are about all 48 inches in length. I haven't done this before, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but let's give it a shot. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and roll out the blue cover and see if I can get it to attach to the pool reel. This is a 15 by 30 foot pool, so we'll see what happens. All right, time to get wet, hook this cover up to the reel. So the cool thing is, this thing's adjustable. So you can put your strap here, you can slide it over, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna start by hooking this first one onto the corner of the pool mat, and we'll go from there. The water temperature is currently 61 degrees, so in a day or two, I'm gonna check it, let you know what it's at. So it's got like an alligator clip, just clamp it on. Looks like it punches through the uh, mat. like that heard it quick that's not going anywhere rinse and repeat so one thing to take note on you'll want to adjust your strap so that they're even all the way across your pool otherwise it won't roll up evenly all right, let's try rolling it up, see how she works. Wind 
in the day. Look at that, she rolled up beautifully. Works pretty awesome. Thanks for joining me today. That's my setup video of the pool reel and the cover. Looks like everything's working really well. There'll be a review coming up, so be sure and stay tuned for that. Give me a big thumbs up or a like, and I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.